All right, it's Coach Jay here. This is Jerry Ramirez here, back in the house. Yes, he is. He's back in the house for sure. So today's... Today, Go ahead. We're going to review called Destroy All Humans for the original Wii. Yeah, Big Willie Unleashed. So... This is one of the few games that actually is yeah, surprising that they put on the Nintendo Wii, but it's actually pretty good, though. Pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty much just kicking ass there. Yeah. <laughs> Some alien that wants to take over the world. And they're supposed to have a remake of the first one coming out this year, too. Can't wait to play the remake and see what it's like there. Yeah. Nice. But what, which one I want them to remake is the second one. The second one I missed playing there. Fuck, that one was awesome. Yeah, was it better than the first? Who knows? Yeah, well, they had some cool-ass aliens in that, at the, around the end game there. It was pretty cool. Wow. But this one here is not too bad. It's pretty good for the Wii. For Wii standards, because Wii wasn't really powerful for graphics there compared to PlayStation and the 360. Really? Yeah. You know, when the first game came out, I think it was like about a, a few months before um, the very the, the Xbox, the second Xbox 360 launch. Yeah. Was that... It took over a year for the PS3 to launch. Yeah, but that was like in Europe or something. Yeah. Because you can't find it on PS3 in, you know, North America. But uh, this one here, there, this is pretty good for the Wii. I like shooting people to distinguish her race. Pretty badass there. That's always my favorite weapon to destroy humans to distinguish her race. That gun there, you shoot yellow and they turn to, the people turn to skeletons. Pretty good gun there. It also can blow shit up too, dude. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see them turn to skeletons because the screen is too small. Yeah, it's too oh, Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, trying to make it expand it there much there. Yeah, here. Now here. I see it. Now I see it. Yeah. It's pretty good for the Wii. The graphics are pretty good for it there for Wii standards, like I said. And uh, the gameplay, you gotta get used to it since it's Nintendo Wii. You're waving a fucking a dildo around your, your arm there, but it's pretty fun there once you get used to it there. Also, you can go in the flying saucer and blow stuff up too. There. Since it's been a very long time, you know, I couldn't recall what one time I wanted to buy this for for any any kind of system. It's a game that Core, uh, the taste guard, aka Corey, should try out. He said he hasn't tried it out yet. He should try it out at some point there. I remember him mentioning mentioning something about destroying humans like a long long ass time ago there. Yeah. I think if it comes on PS4 or Xbox, yeah, I think you should try it then. You might like it there. This is actually a pretty good game, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. It's kick ass. Yeah. Also you got the traditional really, Go ahead. It's it's really T for T, right? Yes. You got the officers who are just ran my fucking ass over. Wow. <clears throat> Transition to alien alien ship there, alien shit. Do they do this to pets too? <laughs> they do this to pets what run over fucking pe pets too or what? No. They're like shoot at them. No, I don't see any pets in this game. I don't see any animals, just people. You also can get in that robot there that won't buy that uh by the big wheel you also get to control him at some point in, in missions there. And eat people and destroy buildings. They're which is running. Pretty... They're running. Yeah, they're running, that one's just running in place, they're running next to the wall and got stuck on that guy there. Someone's shooting at me there. Can you fucking see him? Oh, it's a girl. Wow. Oh, she turned into distinguished. Mm -hmm. 
that's what I like about this game, you know. I know people thought back then it was, uh, the Wii was starting it's to get... Skeletons. Go ahead. You know, skeletons used to creep me out when I was little. Oh, yeah. Same thing with me was with, it was with Spinal, with that killer thing, when he got that supreme victory thing, fucking Spinal scared the shit on me here. Not even joking about that, Spinal used to scare the shit on me here. When I was younger. Yeah. That was like in the 90s there. Late 90s. Yeah, late 90s, 93 when I was born there. I was born in 97. Yeah. And the boomers get triggered, they call them, say, OK Boomer. When they talk back, you call them OK Boomer and they get triggered, apparently. Wow. Yeah. Well, back in our days, we worked like. We're gonna work so hard and we we broke our backs and backs. Okay, really? no, yeah, that's, that's what they are. Some of them are very, uh, some of the elderly are stuck up as shit there. Yeah. But, uh, this game here is pretty good because I like it there for what it is there. Very fun uh, game there. Of course. Cause yeah, it's like at some point I have to, like, uh, you know. Do some stuff there, and you know, I'm trying trying to finish up the first half right now. There. When I look back, when I had TV, what, or even before I, you know, when I had cable on and off time, so I've been looking at this commercial, watching that commercial, and it's it speaks to me. Should I play this game? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. It depends. That's why I'm just, uh, you also can transmogify and get ammo too for your guns, which is good. Because you definitely need ammo in this game there. When you're fighting some of these enemies there. Enemies. Oh, got blown up there. A rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. <coughs> I can't wait till Nemesis comes out though. Nemesis. Yeah, Resident Evil 3. Yeah. The remake. Yeah. Nemesis is going to be more terrifying than Mr. X, I bet you. If I, I just seen what Nemesis looked like in the trailer. He looks horrifying there. But in a good way, though. Remakes and remasters. Wow. Well, some games deserve it. Yes, they deserve remakes and remasters. Some don't. There. Like Raziel deserved it for sure, but it definitely need a remake. Because the old Raziels are fucking. Hard. The old Raziels are hard to play. I don't care what anyone says. There. Yeah. I can't get used to the tank controls. Okay. Can't get used to the tank controls where they're too janky. I find. Yeah. And the year goes beyond that we're moving on to the next generation of gaming later this year. But that'll be a topic for another video. Yeah, it'll probably be for our own Jimmy podcast, probably. So definitely might do some podcast episodes pretty soon there. Do one on MK11 with the combat pack there, and what characters that should be in the game for the next combat pack too. MK character and guest characters included too, there. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you can hypnotize people and you can go inside their bodies just like the first game there. Where you guys are here, you have to shoot the brain things and, you know, point your Wii remote and just to get inside your body. Like in Body Snatchers there. So, do you want to give the final score of the rating of this game? Oh yeah, I can do that right now. Might as well. I'll give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Out of a 5, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Yep. There you go. So, how much more time we got here? Oh, I got a minute there. A minute and 43 seconds, so. 
I'm going to add some more additional stuff to this review here, a little bit more commentary before we sign off there. But there is some good stuff in this game. Like, you know, the setting's pretty good. You got a hippie setting that's like back in the 60s, I believe, or something like that there. Where they all had the hippie shit there. Where people are about love and peace there. Nowadays, people are just fucking hostile towards one another. And crack up over stupid little things there. It's like little ticks to get upset over stupid shit. It's not any shit that worth to get upset about. This is what I like about the game. You go inside the big willy, you pick up the human and just friggin' eat him. You just smash the shit. It's pretty good. Yeah. Gulp. That's a giant. Yeah, it's, it's like a, a giant toy. Yeah, it is. It's a giant robot. That's the coolest thing about the game is the robot will eater. Yeah. Now you're back to your alien form. Back to your crypto. Yeah. Cryptosporidium 130, uh, 146 or 147. I think it's 147. 146, one of them there. All right, so let's see where we're at there. Yeah. So it's Killer J here. This is Jared Ramirez here. See you people later. Bye. Thank you.